Well, before we understand urinary dysfunction, let's just review things a bit. There's a kidney. There's the afferent, or the A, going into the, eventually into the glomerulus. We're tracking it, tracking it, and there they are. There's a Bowman's capsule, which is brownish, and inside is the glomerulus. And that is where there's tiny slits, and blood is being pushed, pushed with each beat of your heart. And there it goes into the nephron. And that is where we're making urine. There's the proximal tubule. That's the first part. Then we're going down, down. We're extracting glucose down to the lupa henle. That's a salty place where we're extracting water. And then we're going back up again. Secretion. We're going to dump whatever is in the bloodstream that we don't want. That's the story. Okay, let's stop that and move on here. So, metabolic acidosis, simply said, kidneys aren't releasing enough bicarbonates. They're not doing their job. Because, just like in the mouth, bicarbonates are going to bring the pH close to neutral. Low pH means too acidic. Nerves can fail to function, but that's in extreme cases. And we get convulsions, coma. But there's mild cases of acidosis as well. Sometimes just dehydration or people that are taking too many antacids. Or sometimes it's a chronic result of kidney dysfunction. Chlamydia is out there waiting for you. Pick your partners carefully. This bacteria enters through various moist membranes. Mouth, anus, vagina, penis. At first there's just sores that don't seem to go away. But it's not that harmless because eventually the bacteria moves into the lymph nodes and then we get swelling often in the armpits or the groin area. That's one of the, one of the symptoms of chlamydia. About 80% of the women who are infected and only 40% of the men are asymptomatic. So, so they have no symptoms but they can still pass that chlamydia on to their partner. Gonorrhea. We thought we had this one mostly beat, but they have mutated into um, resistant strains. Uh, STI is really the more uh, current use of the word, uh, sexually transmitted infections. The cervix in women is the main target, but once it's in the reproductive system, it can move throughout um, and, and go into the kidneys wherever it wants. Early symptoms in both men and women is is pus, but women's symptoms tend to uh, come in later, unfortunately, because by the time the symptoms arise, the ovidex have been infected. Syphilis has been around a long time, another STI. Uh, again, moist membranes, where there's a good warm environment. One of the symptoms are lesions, and these are uh, called cankers. Anytime you see these, uh, let's say you see a patient comes in with open sores, you don't want to take a chance, so you, you get your gloves on immediately, put a mask, even an a apron. What the heck? Because this is highly infectious. These are uh, caused by bacteria, and those cankers are packed with them. Later stages, invasion into the eyes, the bones, nervous system, and there is a, is a third or tertiary stage, which uh, can lead to death. Kidney stones, you might see a patient uh, in the emergency department pacing back and forth, bent over, often kidney stones. They're formed from uh, deposits of uric acid. They're kind of coated in calcium salts. And these crystals will block uh, different parts, generally the ureter. Uh, and some people get them and some don't. So uh, it tends to be, it's not all dietary. Um, some people cut out their oxalates or or they reduce their calcium, but and then they still get them. One method is lithotripsy, litho meaning rock, and it's a high energy wave used to break these stones. Or uh, sometimes a basket that's taken up the urethra. Ouch. Can pull these out. Or we watch and wait. Ooh. Glomerular nephritis. It's a mouthful. Think of the uh, glomerulus. 
that is the uh, uh, web web work of uh, blood vessels in the Bowman's capsule. If there's uh, damage due to say hypertension or diabetes, or sometimes a person's own immune system attacks, then we have obstructive flow. Problem here is now our body is losing uh, blood cells and proteins that are really supposed to stay in our bodies and then some of the toxic byproducts of protein breakdown are remaining in the bloodstream so um, uh, it's pretty serious and that's one reason to treat hypertension early in life uh, one treatment is hemodialysis see the prefix hemo you know it's blood so the glomerulus can't do its job anymore let's run it through a dialysis machine and uh, we're simulating what happens in the kidneys to some extent trying to maintain a precise mix of glucose salts and so many other uh, organic compounds and hopefully the cleansed blood is returned now some people can go a week without it or two weeks once a month some are on it uh, daily nephritis you see the suffix itis you know there's inflammation uh, infection but sometimes injury that's why uh, boxers and most sports you're not allowed to hit from behind because the kidneys are fragile and we are dead without them really we can't survive without kidneys if you remember the renal capsule is a protective structure but the problem is if there's internal swelling there's nowhere for the swelling to go and now the nephrons suffer uh, and when the nephrons can't uh, function then we they're not filtering and we can have kidney failure or renal failure it's called cancer we're not always sure why cancer begins uh, some may be due to exposure of chemicals but it's often the etiology is unknown uh, in renal cell carcinoma it's usually a mutation of normal kidney cells and once they metastasize that means they start to spread then they set up these little satellites in different parts of the body. Um, it's a very serious disorder because the uh, kidneys are connected to the bloodstream. So it's, they're, they're going to send it everywhere. A UTI, um, I think it's cystitis, is the uh, syn synonymous. Lots of organisms, chlamydia, syphilis, gonorrhea, and sometimes a person's own fecal bacteria, such as E. coli. And, and that's why we teach our daughters very young in life to always wipe from front to back because all of us have oh, I don't know a little less than a gram of fecal material clinging to our perianal region almost all the time I know that's kind of gross but it's good to realize that um, it's there okay women are at the greatest risk because their urethra is short about two centimeters and the urethra is close to the anus and that's where a lot of the bacteria are going to come from men have a greater distance there uh, lots of symptoms, but pain when urinating, cloudy, uh, bad smelling urine, uh, frequency to urge, you know, it's burning, but you know, not always. Uh, some people are almost asymptomatic. Polycystic, see poly, that means many. So these are cysts, and it tends to be an inherited genetic disease, not something that you uh, acquire. Um, after after many years, those cysts uh, be, begin uh, interfering with the um, nephrons and so we may have kidney failure symptoms are variable but frequent UTIs and treatment yeah usually dialysis or hopefully kidney replacement and many people learn to manage for example this girl is a world champion karate comp competitor with polycystic kidney disease cystocelli or just cystocell it's pronounced is a hernia like disorder so we have a protrusion of the um, wall between, between the bladder and the vagina. So let's take a look at the diagram. Sometimes it just helps to just look and you can see that bladder prolapsing into the vagina and, and now we have um, a, a case where incontinence or leakage of urine and especially if there's any kind of pressure on that um, pelvic floor. Benign uh, prostatic hyperplasia this is something the guys, all of us, if we live long enough, we're going to face. Uh, I know when we're young, we're waiting for our girlfriends to go to the bathroom. We're waiting outside. Come on, come on. But as we get older, 
you'll see the old gals waiting outside the men's bathroom. Come on, honey. Hurry up. Uh, for a man, you know, it's hard to pee standing up because we cannot empty that bladder, especially as we age. So it's best to sit. Sit and lean forward and kind of squeeze the last drop of urine out of there. All right. Um, so difficult urination. But problems is sometimes we think it's BPH, but it's really cancer. So you've got to have it tested. Uh, urinary incontinence, a UI, caused by uh, lots of diseases. Uh, you name it, some, some sort of infection. We have the urge incontinence, and that's often a weakness in the pelvic floor uh, due to diabetes, stroke, dementia. So you'll see this in the senior population. Um, stress incontinence is just, again, a pelvic floor issue. Sometimes only happens when there, um, there's pressure. Just coughing, sneezing, uh, lifting, uh, all these sorts of activities will. And that's why some women just uh, use a Cotex when they're uh, doing some kind of activity just to um, yeah, prevent. Uh, yeah, you got it. Renal failure, very serious. It can be acute, which is, a, say, a, during a heart attack or some sort of intense infection, dehydration, and anything that causes a restriction of blood flow to the kidneys, and that makes sense. Chronic, you know, chronic is, even though it's, it's worse, it's often um, asymptomatic here. The person is not aware of it. Maybe a, a long-term cystitis, cystitis or uh, diabetes or hypertension that are going to influence blood flow. And uh, then we have renal failure and death if something's not done quickly. Summary here. Acid doses. Think of bicarbs. Hopefully not convulsions and coma. We can catch it early. Chlamydia, 80% versus 40% uh, show symptoms, male versus female. We don't want it going into the lymph system. Gonorrhea, uh, it's out there. you got to pick your partners carefully. Okay? Life is not a Hollywood movie. We can't just uh, you know go fall in love and have sex with whoever we meet, all right? Because these things are serious. All right. Um, uh, pus in the urine, oviducts, so forth. Uh, syphilis, another one of those. Um, the yeah, secondary moves in the eye, the bone. Wow. Kidney stones, painful, but not as serious as it sounds. Uh, usually, a tri the lithotripsy takes care of it, or watch and wait. Glomerulonephritis, think of the glomerulus with those tiny slits. If you have hypertension or diabetes, this is something you got to watch for. Nephritis, see that suffix itis. We have an inflammation in the nephron. And they may, uh, there's nowhere for that uh, pressure to go because of the renal capsule. On to cancers. If we don't want it to metastasize, that means it's on the move. UTI, cystitis, inflammation there caused by lots of different organisms. Polycystic kidney disease, it's inherited. Uh, these people don't have a choice. Cystocell. That's that prolapse that's going to uh, interfere with the urethra. BPH, the curse of being a man, especially an older man, because of the prostate. Uh, incontinence, urge versus stress. Urge is something that we're probably all going to experience if we live long enough. Renal failure, um, try not to go there. Uh, stay hydrated and um, take care of those kidneys. Cut back on the sodas. Cut back on anything that looks toxic. Uh, your, your, your kidneys love water. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's, that's it.